There we go, the fish on. Louisiana redfish at its best. Rooster on the wild coast. Florida Keys bonefish on the Hobie. This week, Hobie Outdoor Adventures takes you back to one of our favorite destinations, the wild coast of Panama. We lost count on how many times our Morgan Promnitz has been fishing here on the wild coast, and this time he invites his good friends, Hobie team member Ross Gallagher, along with Sam Root from Mustad America. We're about to leave our hotel here in Panama City. We've loaded up the van, we've got all of our bags in this trailer, rods up top, and we're ready to hit the road. Um, we've got about five hours to go. We're gonna stop for breakfast in about an hour. It's hot, it's humid. We're ready to get out there and catch some fish. It's gonna be a tight squeeze in here with us, boys. Welcome uh, to the uh, <laughs> This is comfortable. <laughs> Ross has found his happy pineapple. Happy pineapple. Perfect. The best part is, Ross wants to eat part of this catfish though, I'm pretty sure. This thing looks epic. We saw this driving the other way, and I bet it's got some great uh, sun flavor to it. Buenos dias. Wow. What's that? Chicharrones? Chicharrones. Which is fried. This is the uh, fried uh, pork skin. God, <laughs> it's really hard. We're going to keep eating our chicharrones. Keep on the time. Panamanian venture to uh, Cambutal. After five hours on the road heading south, we arrive at our pickup point at Cambuto and are greeted by our old friend Pascal Artieda from Panama Kayak Adventure. How are you? Nice to see you. You too. Yeah. Thanks for having us again. Yeah, cool. Looking forward to it. Very nice. Looks like ages. I know, it's been way too long, yeah. huh? A little bit of surf, huh? Yeah. Quite big it was this morning. Yeah. Now we're met with a huge breaking surf, some of the largest the locals have ever seen in over five years. Big curling breakers slam into the sand as we haul our gear towards the 27-foot punga nestled on the beach. After an hour and a half, we arrive at Pascal's camp, nestled in the mountainside jungle, along a volcanic sand beach. We had just gotten off the boat. We are actually starting to offload some of our gear, haul it up to the cottages, and I look out to the point, and I see this giant wave coming in. I mean, 10 foot plus space. And there was about four or five sets where our punga that was on anchor out there disappeared for a few seconds and all of our hearts sank. We honestly thought that that punga had gotten swamped by a wave. Um, we kind of hit panic mode. We relaunched the other boat, went out there, fetched it. We used about a day's worth of energy to push both of the pungas back up onto the beach. Oh my gosh. The waves are huge. We, we thought we'd come to Panama and get some better conditions, but. But. Adventures in the name of the camp. <laughs> You're a little bit sweaty too. Man, we've just been Holy sweating. moly, that was that was sketchy. Getting that boat in and back out. It's been a long and rough day traveling from Panama City to the Wild Coast. The Hobie crews finally catch a break, have a nice dinner, and get ready for a big day tomorrow. Hobie Outdoor Adventures is brought to you by Gerber Fishing Gear, Fish Beyond, Lorenz, Find, Navigate, Dominate, 
Power Pole Micro Anchor. Swift, silent, secure, and small. And by Aftco, American Fishing Tackle Company. Welcome back to Hobie Outdoor Adventures. Well, we're on the campsite of Panama Kayak Adventure on the protected coastline called the Wild Coast, just outside Cerro Hoya National Park. Today is the first day of fishing and everyone is ready. Well, except Morgan. We're in Panama, it's day one, and you can notice there's something going on around here. Here we are, thousands of miles away from where I live, and we got here last night, came in through some hairy surf, my tooth made it through all of that, and then we went to dinner, and usually I take my retainer out when I eat, and somehow I misplaced it, and I have a, a feeling that a hermit crab came and got it, <laughs> and walked off into the jungle somewhere with it. So, I am a toothless wonder for the rest of this trip. So over the years, I've seen other Hobie anglers and, and television shows as people come down to this area, and target these fish either by boat or kayak. And the exotic species is like awesome, very vibrant colors. The rooster fish has that big dorsal uh, tassel up there that just looks really unique. So it's a lot of new species. I'm excited to knock some more off the bucket list and kind of build up that roster of lifetime fish catches. And this is the place to do it. Hobie Mirage Outbacks are loaded into the 27-foot Punga and are heading 15 miles up the coast. The first stop is a rock pinnacle in 200 feet of water. And as you can imagine, there's a lot of structure right here in the water. So we're going to try jigging deep, we'll try poppers, we'll try stick baits, trolling, a little bit of everything and try to figure out what they're what the fish are doing here. There's a little bit of current, not much wind today, still a little bit of swell, so, you know, not the best conditions, but definitely conditions we can work with. There you go, fish on. This is a big fish. That was really awesome. I actually got my first decent fish marks on my Lowrance here. It's always a surprise to see what you, you bring up here in, in Panama. I'm seeing what looks like Cubera colors. No, never mind. It's an amberjack. That's killer, man. My first, my first ever amberjack on the wild coast. Gonna let him swim back down there to his friends. All right, first fish of the trip. This is pretty awesome. My first fish in Panama. Nice jack. Beautiful fish. He's making that grunting noise right here, talking to me. So I'm, I'm super pumped for this. It's. Uh, you know, one of the first times I've been out of the country fishing a destination like this. I fished the Bahamas, fished in Alaska over the years, but as far as getting out of the U.S., going somewhere that has world-class big game fishing, uh, this is my first time, so very excited, um, very prepared, and just hoping for the best. Coming right back for a second. Oh yeah, on the popper. That was really cool. There's about 25 of them in that school and they raced over to see who could be the first fish to eat this popper. Come on, big boy. Give up. Big old jack. A really big jack. <laughs> and all of them were that size. Thank you for the fight, buddy. He's ready to kick and he's off. I thought the color was the rooster. He was pretty aggressive. What is this? I have not seen it yet. Oh no. Probably another jack. Looking like another jack. Yeah. 
when you bring a fish overboard with a bunch of treble hooks, get the legs out of there. Woo! I thought you were going to be a rooster. Go get your mama. Stay with us. Hopi Outdoor Adventures will be right back with more fishing action on the beautiful backdrop of the wild coast of Panama. Hopi Outdoor Adventures has been brought to you by Hopi Polarized, trusted, quality, heritage. St. Croix Rod, best rods on earth. Rail Blazer, hold everything with Rail Blazer. And by Scotty, the way to fish. Welcome back to Hobie Outdoor Adventures. Well, we're fishing on the wild coast of Panama with Panama Kayak Adventure. Since 2015, Panama Kayak Adventure campsite has become 100% sustainable eco lodge, powered by solar panels with four new cabins and eight Hobie Mirage Outbacks. Pascal has an awesome operation here. We rolled in on the Pangas. I knew we were rolling into the jungle, so my expectations I kept very low and, and preparing myself to be like a camping trip. I do like to camp, so I'm very comfortable getting out here. Um, we've got fresh running water. We have toilet accommodations, a cool shower. The food was fantastic. The staff have been very helpful. It's very comfortable and, and as nice as you could ever imagine for being in the middle of the jungle here on the Wild Coast. Yeah, first tuna of the trip. Oh, I love it. On the speed jig, and I got more fish around me, Ross. All right. There's actually a few of them just hanging right here if you want to cast that jig in. I think we might have to keep this one for sushi, yeah? Yeah, we got to have something for dinner. <laughs> gotcha. Oh, just in time. The hook falls out. He's just barely. That's dinner right there. All right, we got dinner. The deal on the Wild Coast is we only keep what we can eat. So Ross, day one, we're working out the kinks over here. We've caught a few fish, getting our kayak styled in. What do you think so far? This is awesome. I've been super impressed with the Outbacks cruising down the coastline today. They've been very stable and it's been very comfortable. We're just working a variety of these places and trying to figure out where the fish are that want to feed and it's just absolutely beautiful. All right, it's a, it's a uh, pompano. More dinner. That's the best for sashimi. Okay, now we got sashimi and ceviche. I'll make some poke. Look at that fish. African pompano in Panama. What are you doing here, buddy? Ate that uh, Shimano flat fall again. Right where uh, Ross hooked into that big fish, I just saw a, a bunch of fish stacked up on that shallow hump. So drop down and feel like we're cheating here compared to Sam because we have the Lorances and he doesn't. So he's just following us around. But that is a pretty fish and a really, really good eating fish. And we're gonna keep this one and make some ceviche out of him. I'm gonna hold him up to the GoPro. So I wanna show you guys what I'm using today. I'm using one of the new St. Croix Mojo Jig Rods. Um, a pretty heavy action rod because I'm expecting to hook into some big fish. And then I paired it up with a Daiwa Saltis Lever Drag Reel. I have 60 pound line on here with the 80 pound leader to a quick release clip from Tactical Anglers and my squish jig. So this setup can handle anything from a smaller fish to a giant. And you don't come to Panama and fish light gear. You bring the gear so that when you hook that big one, you stand a really good chance of catching them. So I'm gonna get back out there and try to catch a couple more. <laughs> Morgan's been cleaning up house on dinner. I just went over a nice pile of fish and was hoping to get a pompano like Morgan and get another Jack Crevel. That's a weird fish. What is this? I've never caught this fish before. What is this, Morgan? What do you got, Sammy? 
I don't know. And it's uh, is that a is it rainbow? Rainbow letter? Oh yeah. <laughs> nice. That's the good? first time I've seen one of those. Yeah. He hit it next to the boat, so he's got a lot of power. What did you get him on? I got him on the, the jump bait, the Rapala. Oh, cool. Whoa. Beautiful fish. Never caught one of these before. I think it's a rainbow runner. I see him around, but I've never caught him, especially on artificial. These guys uh, just chased it, it exploded on a bait right beyond Ross over there. He threw the popper, he didn't take it. And he chased my bait. Beautiful fish. Within sight of land right there, within a mile. Stay tuned. Hobie Outdoor Adventures will be right back after these messages. Hobie Outdoor Adventures has been brought to you by Plano. Protect your passion. Must add, defining fishing hooks since 1877. And by O'Meals. Changing the way you eat outdoors. Welcome back to Hobie Outdoor Adventures. While we're in southern Panama, just outside Cerro Hoya National Park, on the protected coastline called the Wild Coast. Just hooked up the first yellowfin on a popper right now. It's fishing the top side of these bigger swells out in about 80 feet of water. Saw a little surface activity and some fish boiling. I don't know too many places in the world that you can go and get yellowfin in 70 feet of water. It's amazing. A nice little yellowfin here. Awesome fish to get on the popper. Topwater reeds are just incredible. You can feel them quivering right there. It's raw power. Ross, we're gonna keep him too. Sounds even better. Nice one, buddy. I know, that's great. It doesn't get much fresher than Got that. Him. You got it? Yep. Woo! Sushi right there. Ah, fish on! Fish on! Rooster! Rooster! This guy fights pretty strong. It's a rooster fish this time. Oh! Put a grip on this. Ah. Since this is my first, first rooster, I want to get a, want to get a good proper photo of here. They fight totally different than a jack. It's like one of those things where you expect it to fight like a jack, but this is your first one, so this thing. This thing fights crazy, man. Way better than a jack. A lot more, more three-dimensional than a jack. There you go, fellas. This is awesome. Panama. Second time in Panama, but it's the first time I actually get to fish. Here we go. Time to go. There you go, baby. Woo! Thank you. Woohoo! Got my rooster. Got my rooster. <laughs> Big Eye Trevally. This guy fought a little bit differently. Kind of got me in a little bit of a sketchy situation, actually. <laughs> he went, uh, he fought towards the rocks instead of swimming out. So I had to pedal into somewhat of a little bit of an impact zone. Awesome, the hot pink does it again. Seems to be a, a good color for right now. That's a mean fighting machine right there. Big Eye Jack. He's croaking to tell me to let him go. Bye, buddy. Thanks very much. Man, those things fight hard. So that's Amberjack, Jack Travel. Big Eye Jack was still missing a Blue Travelli or Blue Jack. And Sam got a rooster fish, which is also in the Jack family, so. We need to hunt one of those blue jacks. Oh, we got the blue trevally. We were just talking about how we uh, were missing this guy from our jack collection. And there it is, probably 
One of the top five most beautiful fish of the wild coast right there. I love it. It's like you had a spray paint artist go crazy with some really awesome blues. They're hard fighters too. All right. I think we got all the species of jacks you can, you can catch. Sun's starting to set. We still have two full days here on the wild coast. We're gonna call it. My arms are sore, but we accomplished our goal, and that was to get our jack family. We got a blue trevally, a jack crevel, a big eye jack, an amber jack, a rooster fish, which is in the jack family, and an African pompano. So that's pretty impressive. If you wanna catch all kinds of jacks, this place is amazing for it. So I'm ready to load up my kayak and let's see what tomorrow brings. Next week, the adventure on the wild coast continues and close encounters of the cute kind, the unexpected guests from the Pacific Ocean. Hey, we'll see you next week on a new episode of Hobie Outdoor Adventures. Look at that guy. Woo! That's a beast.